celebrate tonight what it is that God does as Jehovah Jireh, who he is our provider. There are two things that you need to know orally that God lets you know that you can live without. The first one that you can live without is your tonsils. You can live without your tonsils because as your vocal cords begin to expand, that's when you begin to feel a strain within your throat. And you must understand this, that whenever it is that you move to a new level in praise, that's when the devil will try to strangle the praise out of you. That's why when you're going through something, the enemy will tell you, stay at home. The enemy will tell you, it don't take all of that. I wish you would be quiet. I wish you would sit down. But you know this. And the people who don't want you to shout are the folk who don't need anything. But the folk who are desperate for God to do something awesome. They didn't come to church tonight to be on the video. They didn't come to be on the record. But they said, I was glad when they said up to me. Yeah. Let us go into the house of the Lord. And I think I got about 300 folk who just need God to do something. Oh, I'm talking about you need God to do something. The second thing that you can live without is your wisdom teeth. You can live without your wisdom teeth because wisdom teeth always show up late. And when they show up late, they disorganize the entire dental structure because they try to move people and things out of the way that have already been established. You've got to be careful for folk who show up in your life late. You weren't there when you were struggling. Yeah. You didn't know how to make it. You weren't there when you were trying to push and press your way. But God said, I planted you like a tree. By the river. He says, when it is that you've lost your tonsils, when it is that you've lost your wisdom teeth, you're left with one thing. And the thing that you will not lose is your voice. Are you telling me, preacher, I can sing without my tonsils? I can shout without my wisdom teeth. But the only way that can happen is if I use my voice. And so if I can't sing like Smokey, I can still scream. And I want you to understand this, that the devil can't handle a scream. Because you understand in the book of Isaiah, when it is that the devil lost his job as the leader of praise and worship, he was a trained musician. And because he was a trained musician, the devil knows how to sing on key. But whenever you sing, whether you're Luther Vandross or Patti LaBelle, you can never scream on key. So that's why you know when there's an imp sitting around you. Because whenever you start screaming at the church, they get an attitude. We can't go any further in this world. Because there are some imps in the church. Yeah. 